YouTube sensation, Freddie Wong. That's overstating things, but hello. Yes, <laughs> my children were so excited that I'm talking to you. Oh, really? so, <laughs> they love video game. Uh, High school, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they love all of that stuff. Awesome. So what are you guys doing here at Comic-Con this year? Uh, mostly uh, walking around, uh, doing a little cosplay. No, that's not true. Uh, we're just walking around, having a good time, and just sort of, you know, getting out and sort of meeting people in real life, which is so different than, you know, like staying behind. Like, you know, what we do, we do stuff online. It's always behind a screen, and it's just like oh, our viewers. You know, it's like you don't have a sense of that. So it's nice to ever, you know, come out and just meet people, talk to people, and yeah. it's like the best place to do it. Have you been trapped up here the whole time, or have you guys actually gotten to go out? Oh no, I've been I've been running around. We were shooting stuff a little bit earlier. We we're doing some stuff with uh, Nerdist and their laser tag booth, and uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Did you guys play laser tag? Uh, no, no, we, we but it's best part of a video that will be coming up uh, oh. on our channel can for you, that. Uh, can you give us a hint? Oh, about, so last year yeah. we last year we were at Comic Con with Nerdist, and we did a we did a laser tag video, and this is the sequel to it, and uh, it's pretty intense. Nice. Uh, so who wins? In a way. The viewers win because we're all entertained. That was the most professional <laughs> non-answer. You are. Oh, well, I'm so good. Yeah, I'm you so are. Good at you've yeah, hit me. Ask me a question. I'll give you a non-answer. Yeah. So, what has been your favorite thing that you've gotten to do this year on the floor? Like, do you get recognized, or is it pretty okay? Like, people leave you alone. Here, no. Here, here's pretty. It's pretty. Uh, yeah, a lot of people. Yeah, um, who do recognize it. If, if I'm like in a mall, generally no. <laughs> but like here, this is like the hub of you know geek culture so there's yeah. definitely a lot of, a lot of that but it's cool though because you know I think the way that people talk to you it's not like you know especially for people online it's not like it's some weird like ooh celebrity don't talk to that person it's always very friendly it's always very open yeah. so the conversation is always like oh hey how's it going it's just like meeting friends so it's a lot of fun yeah. do you feel like um, as a YouTube celebrity it's a little bit different like, because you guys don't have the barrier between the fans that yeah, say yeah, yeah. like a TV celebrity would or a movie star where yeah. they're just like no crazy fans because you can communicate with them on Twitter on comments that it's easier and less creepy for you to like actually see them in person yeah I think so and I think that that's like the fundamental shift in terms of mentality that you're seeing these days and even sort of traditional celebrity from the from the TV and film side starting to realize oh you know we can't just have someone else do my Twitter for me I should do that because people are, I think that at the end of the day people crave actual honest communication and relationship with people you know yeah. and it's so much easier now in the way that we sort of put ourselves so you're right there's never been that sort of barrier so from the get-go it's a very direct and a very personal sort of relationship and it's just something you gotta get used to we're shooting principal photography for a show that we're coming out uh, on Hulu later this year uh, and that's gonna be a lot of fun we're doing eight of sort of the biggest shorts that we've like ever conceived of just crazy stuff we're flipping cars we're racing horses uh, we're even doing like you know homages to old school like you know black and oh, white wow. silent film so it's just it's all over the place uh, it's, and you're gonna be able to see that uh, later this year so that'll be on Hulu plus on their streaming or will it be on Hulu like... uh, Hulu's just regular Hulu now oh it's just gonna be just well I've been paying Hulu. for it for so long that I don't even like <laughs> okay so there's not a, like I'm just gonna walk I'm, I'm gone <laughs> Yeah, it'll be on Hulu, and then uh, uh, the shorts are going to be also up on our channel as well. Was it nice to get that sweet, sweet Hulu money so that you could do? Uh... <laughs> no, it was. It was nice because you know we've 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 always had like some of these ideas that are like, okay, but we'll never do that because it's ridiculous. Like we want to do it, like we want to do a horse race like Fast and the Furious, but it's like that's it's, horses are expensive. You know, we're never yeah. gonna, we're just never going to be able to do it. But for the first time for this show, we're going to be able to do a lot of these sort of bucket list ideas, and it's uh, it's going to be really fun. So we're doing Fast and the Furious horses. Is that? Yes. Yeah, big, big yeah. like a horse race, but shot like Fast and Furious. Yes. Is it nuts. modern day horse race? Or are we no, going like no, old we're going, west? We're going old west, and it's like a full on. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I have, is it steampunk or just old? No, west? no, no, no steampunk. No, just old okay. west. Okay. Hardcore Hard western, but a horse race like Fast and Furious. Whatever you have in your mind, what we did is better. For breaking entertainment news and more, follow at Hitfix on Twitter or visit Hitfix.com.